Right, leaving camp. All clean, spotless. Just a bit of flat grass. Stand up, please. Gotta find a trail somehow. Beautiful morning. Breeze is about 15 mile an hour, between 12 and 15. Temperature was 9, but 7.8 with the wind factor. But I think the temperature's increased slightly, so I guess it's about 9, 10 degrees with the wind, but not cold at all. So many nice pitching spots around here. And it's so quiet and tranquil with the birds. And the wind. I think those stones is just up there. They've got some of the stakes. They do disappear. And a bit of a trail. As I say, trail disappears. We're going that way. We well, don't want to go bleak those stones. There's a route, I think. This is the side I wanted to pitch on last night but it was terrible don't know what you got last night because it was all a rush job I got over this side and anywhere I wanted to pitch it was just coming from over that way the wind and uh, horrendous it would have made a terrible night it was still windy anyway but I mean with the hair's face on. I tried to get in some shelter there, but couldn't find anything. So, decided to bail from there and go to somewhere where I knew it would be okay. And we had a decent night. As I say, I've got up, what was it, 5.20 or 4.20? Something like that. Feed the dogs, and it was misty as you saw. Another mountain here. Dogs are good, they do fly off after it. Hey, hey, Fuse. <laughs> Talking to them at Fuse. Thank you. I saw it, she saw it. Went back, got that extra hour. And that was the, probably the best hour out of the whole night. I felt really relaxed on that one, don't know why. I'm just following these uh, gullies down. And then I can pick my point from there. I've been down here before. And last time I headed towards the Grinny Stones area looking for a break in the fence because there's a fence halfway down the valley. But I couldn't find a fence. But I know, I've been there before and I know there is one, a little gate. So I'm trying to find it. This has removed it. <laughs> I doubt it.
on a day like that, uh, like this, it's beautiful to walk around bleak though. On a bad day, total new and watching for holes. Or sometimes put your foot in a hole. Not, we come straight over the top. Now I've got to find a good, decent route down. And this will take me down to the swamp and uh, grains of the water if I go down, which is down in that gully there. Uh oh, I don't want to be doing no jumping. This is what happens, you'll follow, see, like there's a trail and someone's jumped over. Look at that, I'm not jumping down there. <laughs> what do you think I am? Probably sheep. Right, I'll find a way down here. I'll be down there somewhere overlooking the, the valley. As I say, Bleakhead Stones is just up there. And somewhere where I was going to pitch was around there. Right, so we're still heading down. This area where I'm going now, it's called Alport Head. Now that trail there will follow around to Bleaklow Stones and then further along to Grinny Stones. But we're going down and I'm trying to pick a route. That's pretty decent. And I'm hoping this is pretty decent. Uh, ground's dry, so I don't have to worry about boggy areas until I get really low down. I'm hoping this kind of gully here. See now that looks, see there, that looks bog, boggy. Let's have a look. No, just dry it out. <laughs> when the grass is tall, it normally means it's wet. There's a path there. Yeah, this looks good. And you'll see in a minute, I'm going to go down. See, I'm following this gully down, or clough, or wherever it is. And then I'm going to branch off to the right and stick to the right, because last time I st stuck to the left and I couldn't find that gate. So, I don't think there's any better tracks. I went that way a minute ago and I couldn't find anything decent there, so it looks like I'm going to have to do this. I know there's a path further along there, but then I'm going to have to cut across down. When I mean a path, it's like a sheep track. So I'm going to chance it. Mr. Grouse. I hope I don't regret this choice. See, someone's been down here or someone's been down here. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's a fence, and that looks like a gate. And it also looks like a gate or something down there. So I need to be on that side. Right. I'm looking for a trail down there. Oh, I need to cross over anyway. That'd be great if there's a gate there. Because then I can go over the top. I don't know if you can see the fence up there. There's a, an area up the top there. It looks like there's a gate. I know there isn't because I've been there. Oh, have a look. We're no panic today. I just don't want to start a jumping. Now, <laughs> gotta double back a bit and get over this. I'm not jumping where it's loose. Whoa, out right of the way, Rebel. Thieves, thieves. See? The edge of that could be crumbly. I'll jump on it and I'll go through. Right, I might have to go over a bit. Well, I didn't find the gate I was looking for, but found a sty and the dogs just jumped out. I took his pack off. Both of them jumped out easy. Even Stella. I'm surprised. Now, I want to go down there, but I've got to find the best route down there. It might be going across and then following down, which I know is okay. 
still looking for my gate which is missing oh here's a trail we'll follow this shall we I'm sure I've been through a trail uh, a gate up there it looks like they're all stars never mind right so that area is our port head that is where somewhere where I was pitching gonna pitch the other night I think it's classed as Bleak Low Hill if I'm right sorry Rebel I weren't telling you views you do there's a 10 miles right hopefully I I got a funny feeling I'm gonna to have to go across and then down because this might be a bit steep Stella views Stella mm hmm don't like the look of that that looks too steep I thought so I think I'm gonna to have to go across and then follow down So where did the trail go down here? Let's have a look. You don't know unless you look. Oh, there might be a way down there. If I can get down. Yep, yeah. and there's water for the dogs. Look at her. She seems to know the best way to go every time. There again, I might go that way. Should be down. Right. Beautiful views, eh? Yeah. Dogs having a dunk. I come from up there. Nice to hear the water. So dry everywhere. Be the first time someone's jumped onto the other bank and it's just broke off. It's good to know these water sources, they'd be very peaty there, but uh, at least it's not too far from Bleak Low Stones, is it? And they think it's playtime. I hope I'm not digging up myself a hole here. I'm trying to follow the, gut, the water down to uh, the swamp and uh, grains of the water because that's where it's going but I don't know if the banks are going to get so steep that I won't be able to get down hopefully not and this would be lovely it's like this it's a faint trail but you just don't know what it is. <laughs> That's the only thing, I keep jumping from one side to the other. I might make it there. Aha, might not. Lovely. Different.
instead of keep going down there where it's reedy, I'm going to go up there and scout down the slope because it's been good so far, but sooner or later I'm going to get muddy. Right, dogs are having fun anyway. I'm in the best way up. on this slope oh. and there you go got a nice track now much better than being in there it's quite dry so not boggy at all but sooner as you get down the lower ends it will get boggy Just found a hole a minute ago. <laughs> you gotta be very careful. You can't even see them. Luckily my foot went straight down and not an angle. But uh, foot placement is very serious when you're out here. You can go years and years without having an accident and then all of a sudden, boom. So you've got to be careful. And that's where we're walking along over the top of that moor over the other side on the other bank. So this area here is known as the swamp. You can tell with the reeds and the tall grass. Very dry today, but uh, normally that lives up to its name. I was checking the news last night, I managed to get a signal and there's uh, been a fire on Bamford Edge, I read. <laughs> Unbelievable. People with barbecues, I guess. That's my main fear on a moor at night, pitched on a night. If someone is having to discard a barbie or something like that with a strong breeze, the blaze, the fire would spread over the moor. Unbelievable! And you'd be trapped in your tent. You too, booze, rebel, booze. They're loving it now. I'm surprised how well Stella is looking. I tell you, I could have put a pack on her and calm her down. Leave it. Looking at all the cotton grass. There's sheep everywhere. Wherever you look now, there's sheep. They pop out of everywhere. Booze, leave it. Let them go. Because we've got to go over there. I'm trying to pick out a route. Yep, I want to be on that side, but the path is over there. And this is grains in the water. Look at that for a pitch spot. 
But as I say, at the moment with the lockdown eased, but people still a bit jumpy. It's too low down to pitch. You've got to pitch in the higher areas if you want to stay out of people's way. I've got to jump across it. Stand out of my way. <laughs> Just in case I fall on it. Oh, look at that. I've seen it before and I wanted to do it. There's a lot of sheep around here though. You take, but look at that. That's a perfect pet spot. But you'll get a lot of midges because of the water. Today, no, because it's breezy. Another day, yes. I'm gonna have a breather, gonna have a drink. So what I want to do now, I want to get up and there is a track that runs along that lip because I've been on it before. I've got to find it first. There's a bit of climbing to do. And then what I'll do is, this is our Port Valley. As you say, I'll follow over, that's how I'll put more over that side. And I'll follow across there to the track that leads the, behind the um, Snake Inn. Looks like I've got a track as such here. Stella, booze? Booze? Thank you. See what I mean? If I had a pack on her, she'd calm right down. But she's got no pack, so she's more energetic, which is good, but I'd like to calm her down a bit. Not bad views, eh? So we're leaving Bleaklow area, over there. And we're going on Alport Moor, up there. And I'm trying to find the track. <laughs> I think last time I went somewhere like over the top and then on. I might be doing that in a minute, yeah, I think I will. So we come from down there and I've picked the track up by chance. Beautiful. Last time I was on here, I scouted along the side there because I wanted to see the views. And all of a sudden a storm come over. It's on one of my earlier videos. And I took my eyes off because the views down there are beautiful, the waterfalls. And I took my eyes off and also I heard a crack as I slipped and it was my ankle ligaments. <laughs> but believe it or not, for two days I still continued with damaged ankle ligaments. And then when I got home, it took five, six weeks to heal. And I was in extreme pain for that five, six weeks. Yet for the two days I was walking along here because I took some painkillers and soaked my foot in uh, Ashup River, near Ashup Woods. I managed to carry on hiking a wild camper. Unbelievable. Couldn't, couldn't make it up. So it just shows what you can do. Stella's loving it. She's, I think she's two again. And I'll keep an eye on her. Soggy there. There is a path, but <laughs> you gotta use your eyes now. It's 
fella who's I'm gonna put a pack on you next day. Calm you down. Oops. I'm trying to scout these uh, groffs. I don't want to be going up and down now. The grass is so dry. I'm trying to pick a way through this groff. I know the general direction I want to go is there. There's a dirty great groff in there. <laughs> I'm cheating. Someone's driven up here, a farmer or shooters, something like that. Don't know when the shooting starts. Probably August, I think. Oh, there's a the trail. So, uh, if it's good enough for a vehicle, it'd be good enough for my thing. So I've done the, you can cut down to Birchin, Clough Car Park. I've done that one, it's quite steep. Uh, there's some people up there, I'm probably aiming for them in the distance. I want to get down behind the snake pass in. Now it's right opposite uh, Fairbrook, so it's easy to get across the road. One hiker is not too bad, one hiker and two dogs is a bit crazy. Beautiful views, eh? Good 360. I don't know if you can make the cars out in a very far distance. That looks like um, where they park for high shelf to look at the plane crash site. Stella, please. What she's scouting. And if you're seeing this, there is a track, <laughs> a sheep track or whatever, and then it goes up there. I'm trying to stay out these peat grass because they're hard work when you go up and down them all the time. Beautiful day, though. Right, that's the area I'm aiming for. Where them? I don't know if you can see the sheep in the distance. Trying to pick a straight line there, not easy. Lovely up here. Now I manage to stay out of them. You don't want to be going through that. Just too much hard work. I see a stake or something up there, Marker. We're aiming in the right direction now. It's been a long time since I've been out here. Roughly make out some kind of trail or footsteps. Getting hot. It's quarter to eleven. Trying to stay out any hollows. It needs to be jumping up and down. A lot of holes in here. Nice to be out of boots though. Got my trail shoes on. You can see it. So much light I can feel the ground but like there. <laughs> right. Aim in the game is always pick a route. Pick a direction aim for it as straight as possible in the horizon so you don't kind of go zigzag make it harder on yourself but then you've got to take into consideration the terrain here we go that's a slight trail there we go see what i mean very small 
It makes a big difference. Have a marker, and there's one up there. I'll probably come too low, hence why I was uh, nearly catching the grass, which is not good. All this cotton grass, beautiful. And the trail? <laughs> there is no trail. There's a fence up here. Hopefully it's got a gate or something. There's Snake Pass Road going all the way up to High Shelf. Correction, that's not High Shelf, is it? That'll be Doctor's Gate, that area around there. Birch and Clough car park, somewhere around there. I've been there before. It's quite steep going down. I want to push on further. You too, booze. Just taking it nice and steady. No race. Plenty of water for them. They've just had a great big top up when we came up, just before we come up. There's plenty of water at Ashupwood and Fairbrook. Just making my way to this gate, hoping. There's a gate there. There's a fence on. Birch and Clough car park is there, sorry. I thought it was down there. It's just over there, up there. We are going over that way. Where the V is in the horizon. Hopefully, the fences. Looks like it's just that area there. Fancy sticking a shed here. <laughs> that are tight down so don't blow away. I guess it's a shooting cabin or something. Huh. Bit of a mess. Yeah. Be nice to get in there and have a rest, wouldn't it? Oh well. The one people using it, obviously. Go on, you. Right, we've got to pick a truck from here. So, Birchin Clough car park's around about there. And we need to go over that brow to ours and down. I've got to pick it. A good route. Birch and Clough car park, it's just where them tree lines is. Follow the gully there, but we want to go slightly to the left. Now save us a lot of aggro on the road. But let's try to pick a trail through this onto that. And we've come from there where the shed is. That's it in the distance. Shooting heart of white bread. <laughs> I'll call it a shed. Birching Clough. We've come a little low. We should be up there and across the top. But whilst I was there, I thought I'd have a good look. Kinder Scout in the distance. And that's where we'll be heading later. If you can see it, look at the V of the trees and straight up, that's fair, very nice. Right, we've got to push up, we came a bit low. Never mind, you learn, don't you? 
Right, what I'm looking for is grass butts and they will lead to a track and then there's the shooter cabin I've seen people walking along down here so there must be a track and I'll be able to pick it up not seen many people today at all and we've come from that very <laughs> distant hill up there so we've come some distance I'm trying to pick a route to this track some grass spots there you go shoot his cabin and there's a track right here <laughs> Excuse me. There's a track running all the way along. That's where we'll go back. If there's water down there. We can have lunch here. And dogs can drink down there. This is open, that is. The nice of it is. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. There you go. Perfect. Dogs get a drink, I can feed them, I can have my lunch, and it can be cool in our new uh, bungalow. That was a good walk, good track across our pool. Wall. So I've got a steady walk all the way along. This is the shooting cabin. A oh, boffy, isn't it? Could sleep on there. <laughs> Someone's left um, chili con carne. Hmm, don't know about that. It's clean, that. And shelter. No fireplace. Yeah, well. Right, it's dinner time. You hungry? That's a stupid question, isn't it? <laughs>